Hey, how you doing, everybody? So, I know the EDC videos are really popular. I really enjoy doing them because it's really something I'm into. I enjoy. I get really good with. There's two things. You'll get into them in a minute. But I think EDC, like I said the other day, it's always evolving. I changed my work bag. Not the case that I carry but um the bag i actually change and edc is kind of an involving thing we figure out stuff we find a need for something else and we add it take it away change it whichever and it's always something that evolves edc it's not something that's a constant it's something that changes from week to week day to day month to month year to year whichever sometimes you have a lot of changes sometimes you have minor change this is a little bit of a creation and a little bit of change but before we get into all that, because I do appreciate all the support, all the new subscribers and everything like that. I really, really do appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up over there. Smash it. Tell YouTube how much you like these videos. Go over here. Hit that subscribe. Subscribe to the video and the channel and it will come up in your news, in your subscription feed. So there it is right there for you. Anytime you need it, you will see when the new ones come out because you really like the videos. So you want to see them now. If you checked out my um, videos I've done in the past, I have, I I know we all have, let me just bring that up a drop. I know we all have planners and calendars and all that fun stuff in our phone, which is great. It really works out. It helps us keep track. But I like to have different dimensions, different avenues, different ways of keeping track of stuff. So I do have on my wall by my bed, one of those little weekly schedulers that's a whiteboard kind of that you can erase stuff put stuff on and stuff like that which i do like to keep to keep track of everything so i know everything that's going on and i'm trying to get better at it sometimes i don't do it as much and i've been trying to check emails and stuff like that to try to keep up with everything so i've been making it to a daily regiment but the book that i have the planner which is a nice one it was kind of a it was one more geared towards a student than anything it was cheap i was able to pick it up cheap you know at a good price and everything it was kind of a school one so it ended in a weird or in a weird place it did end like not in january but it ended a few months i think it ended last month if i remember correctly so i've been thinking about what should i have should i just have a book to write stuff in whatever i decided instead of going and getting a journal that is set up the way somebody wanted it to be set up that I would more or less have it set up to the point where it's the way I like it, where I can modify it or change it. So I went with looking at some books in Target or whatever, not really feeling comfortable with the way it's set up. And I said, that's when I said, I need to have something that's set up my own way. So I went to Fod Below. I like black. I like red. This is Billy Elsha, whoever that is. I'm not too sure. But anyway, premium A5 notebook made Use an FSC certified recycled material. 192 line pages. So I went with this because first it's recyclable. Of course, as you can see right there, it was five as in five below. And I know y'all looking at this thing. What is that? I will get to that in a second. There's a little story behind that. So I like the little black and red on here. The flat black. It's really cool. Open it up. You got that deep dark red there. And then you have your line pages, you have the little signature right there of the creator. Which, like I said, that's a really cool looking notebook. It's kind of like, it reminds me of kind of like an anime type style. If you ever watched Death Note, or you haven't watched Death Note, Death Note's a really cool series. Movie, book, get into it, check it out, and you'll really like it. So, as you can see, there's some pages. I haven't set it up, I just bought it few hours ago so i'm gonna do probably like a to do on one page or actually a calendar on one page then a day by day for the week for the week to the week till you end that week and go into another um month but i'm gonna have like try to do the days and then have a to-do list over here for the stuff i'm gonna do for the week and of course if you're trying to keep that stuff organized on your phone um google to do or check i think it is something like that or keeper keeper i think it is keeper yes it's a little app you can make checklist notes um you can even add pictures so that is really cool i've even copied and pasted um 
web pages in there that I needed to check out later point and you know you can edit it and modify it so it is a really cool way of keeping track of everything probably gonna put maybe a little envelope in here to keep stuff in or something but i will set it up i'll probably do an update to show you guys how i set it up so that's out of the way oh and the other cool feature of it because i usually put like a paper clip to keep track of where i'm at in it it does have the little book um bookmark little ribbon that is actually created into the actual spine of the book so that is really cool now this what is this now i was working the other day trying to organize some papers i wasn't at the exact spot i work in the desk or that i work at or anything so i didn't have my bag with me messing with the papers but cut my finger it was a little paper cut but it started to bleed i try to work with my hands out like this so i want to get blood all over the papers and mess up the papers that I'm trying to make copies of and keep the originals perfect because <laughs> they were papers that were going to be used to verify something so they needed to look good and be in great shape of course so I had to kind of work oddly and I really wanted to be back at my desk where I could actually take and pick up my bag take out my little medical kit and I started to think what happens if we don't have our medical kit with us? You don't always need all that stuff with you, of course. Like everything, you should have stuff with you, but you don't need it on you at all times. And of course, if it was a major, major cut, like a slice in my finger, I'd want to go to the medical bag or even to my vehicle where I have a full, you know, medical kit with tourniquet and a whole nine. So definitely you would want to go to that. I have two medical kits, one that came with the vehicle and one that I made myself, and I want to change the bag and add some stuff to it eventually, of course. But, as I said, now if I had a little something with me, so I'm pretty sure you figured out what I'm getting at. It is a little card holder that I've had for several years. Usually keep it in my bag, and I'm pretty sure I showed it in my last video, and I didn't have anything but a couple of, like, club cards, like a Costco or whatever card in it. I said, you know what? I need to take them out and make this into a medical kit. So, of course, it's a little boo-boo kit. It's not major stuff. Not if I slice my finger off, I'm going to need it. But anyway, I'm not, not going to get that drastic. But figured need a little bit of everything in there to take care of the situation. And it has these nice little things. So, one little gauze pad right there. It may change. I don't know. We'll see. Have a little... Um, Hemostat gauze, which will turn if you control. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus on there. Controls bleeding fast, turns into a gel and seals the wound. Acts in less than one minute for cuts and nosebleeds. So it's a little pad inside there. You just tear it open and you're able to put that on there and then it seals it up right away. It's really good. If you're not, if you haven't used these before, you should check them out. Then of course, you want to put some antiseptic on it. Clean it with the alcohol. I, that's what I should have put in it. Actually, there's one here. <laughs> that was the one thing I was missing. A little alcohol prep to clean it. A little antiseptic gel for you there. For burns and cuts and whatever. And then on this side, I have a few basic band-aids. Just four. You don't need a ton. Like I said, it's a boo-boo kit. You're in a store, you forgot your little EDC pouch or whatever. You don't have your medical medical kit on you. You have everything right there. Then some tape that's rolled up upon itself is probably like a little bit more than a foot. It's medical tape. You unwrap it, put it around the gauze, or if the band-aid's not sticking properly because it's a fing bending finger or whatever. And then, you know, everything's in there. Fold up right in your inside jacket pocket. Your pants pocket, your back pocket, front pocket, whichever. You have a boo-boo kit with you at all times, which is comes in handy. And I wish I would have had that the other day because then I wouldn't have had to try to work all weird with my hand out. Just pop out my kit, clean it, boom, put on the band-aid, and boom, we're on our way. And we we're able to continue the job we were doing. Didn't have that, so whatever. So I invented or created a little kit to fix this situation as you can see. So everything fits neatly into the little pouch. You have a little bit of something 
for all of those situations. Of course, like I said, if it's not a major gash or stab wound or something, you're good. And pretty much not going to have that. But I have my other kit with me anyway. And the car kit, I'm probably like not even a minute away from my car. I can walk right out to it. So I can get to it quickly if I do have quite an emergency like that. Or I can tell somebody else where it is. And they could go out and get it if I hand them the key. So definitely something you guys should check out and think about hooking up for yourself. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support, the love, and the likes. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.